where hope is born. Newborns only see up to 30 centimeters in front of their face. The rest is a blur of light, shape and movement. The world's first lesson is to tell you that you can never see the future clearly. Only just enough to let you know it's worth the walk. Hope can take on a life of its own. Grow legs and walk to the local cafe. Leave a piece of itself at the coffee table for the next caffeine-consuming customer at Starbucks. Engrave its initials in the bark of a tall oak for two unassuming starstruck young loves at the park and hope. Hope is believing in the wonderful right up until the end credits. This is a long film called Life, so bring some popcorn and pack plenty of hope in your purse, pockets, palms. Share it with everything you touch and watch them smile with a full heart. Hope will bury itself in a bookmark and Gulliver's travel into the curls of a page. Rest in the spine of a classic tale until it's swallowed by the shallow breath of a girl murmuring each word sat inside her own shadow, absorbed in paper, bound by imagination. Bound and gifted, hope is in a locket passed down generations lost and found at a charity store, at a thrift shop, at a doorstep to your next opportunity. It leaves behind footsteps in the sand that can't be washed away by the tide. It's scattered through the beach and gently seeps into your stride. Here, I have been playing hide and seek with the sun and this is its finest disappearing act. And yet, Somewhere on the flip side of this globe is a gleaming trophy belonging to the sky, it shine beaming I won. And here, even in the sheet of darkness, I know the sun will come home and hug my window frame by morning. This hope, it is in new life. It is finding new in the old. It is the heartbeat that keeps the soul of time alive. It's an untraveled road. It's a storm and the rainbow. Shaking hands sharing stories, making a pact to play Chinese whispers with wonder, pass the parcel with joy, add laughter to the clouds next recipe of rain, let the world be sprinkled by hope and we will call this a new day, call this change, gross, hope is not knowing what the world will look like tomorrow, but knowing it will be better than today. In the first three minutes following the birth of the universe, the light elements like hydrogen and helium were formed in the last three minutes. The universe expanded about 8,000 miles. Hope is believing everything is growing, even when we don't see it or know it. Even in a blur of light, shape and movement, did you feel that? The universe just grew beneath your feet. Good evening and what a way to kick off tonight. Good evening and welcome to the first ever UK Youth Inspiring Hope Awards in association with UPS. Thank you so much to Aditi from H South Youth Group for writing and performing those beautiful words. So many gems, man, so many quotes, especially for us this evening. And as Aditi says, hope is believing in the wonderful right up until the end credits. And we really do have a wonderful evening lined up for you tonight. My name is Swazi, I'm a radio presenter at KISS and Voice BBC Sounds, and tonight I'm very excited to be your host on behalf of UK Youth this evening. As you know, UK Youth is a leading charity that exists to ensure all young people, all young people are equipped to thrive and feel empowered to contribute at every stage of their lives. UK Youth received over 350, let me reload it, 350 truly inspirational nominations for amazing young people and youth organisations from all over the country. So tonight, we celebrate the seven award winners, but also every single nominee and everyone tuning in for playing your part in Inspiring Hope. As well as the awards, there's lots of exciting things happening tonight. We have some exclusive performances and over in the DJ room, we have Jenk Oz, a 15 year old entrepreneur, DJ and founder of Thread Media, spinning the decks and best believe he's taking your request tonight. So get your requests in. We would love to hear from you this evening as well. And I might not be able to see you all until we return to real life events, but we can definitely know where you're calling in from, where you're watching from. So get in the chat and let us know where you are. 
well. Please write in so we can say hello. And also, don't forget to use the hashtag Inspiring Hope Awards. Inspiring Hope Awards is your hashtag for tonight. If you're posting on social media, we want to pick up your comments and involve you in the conversation. So let me see where you guys are getting in from. We've got Felice coming in from as well. We've got so many people from all over tuning in. So definitely so many big welcomes and so many big hellos to you guys tonight. So before we dive into the awards, we have a few special messages to share. And so introducing the CEO of UK Youth, here's Ndidi Okazi. Good evening, everybody. Thank you for joining us here today. It is such a pleasure to have so many of you tuning in because we're just excited to bring you the very first ever UK Youth Inspiring Hope Awards. Look, there's no way around it. This year has been the most challenging and difficult year for most people. But COVID-19 has had a really severe impact on young people, youth organisations and all those who support them. A recent UK youth survey has highlighted that 73% of youth organisations have reported needing emergency funds if they are going to be able to continue supporting young people during and even after this pandemic ends. 81% have reported having either unreliable or absolutely no access to IT, which as you can imagine poses a pretty big barrier, especially as young people are now trying to engage in youth services digitally. Overnight, UK youth itself had to adapt and we had to figure out how to increase our support to youth organizations across our networks. But through all of that, through all of the difficulty, it has been the resilience of young people that has been the most inspiring, motivating thing to us. And we just couldn't find enough positive stories. There's a lot of negative narratives out there. And so tonight we wanted to come together to take the time to shine a bright spotlight on inspirational, but everyday young people, everyday youth workers, everyday youth organizations and everyday supporters who despite the most difficult circumstances have persevered. Their hard work, their creativity and their determination continue to inspire their communities for weeks and months on end. As Swarmsey said, we received hundreds of nominations we were blown away. And honestly, it just warms my heart to hear about all these astounding stories from people who are just doing their everyday bit to help other people and to make a positive impact in their communities. So why not? Tonight we come together and we're going to celebrate each and every one of them. I have to thank UPS for so generously sponsoring this event. Without you, this would not be possible. And to our amazing award sponsors, Coca-Cola European Partners, 10th Bridge Consulting, Amy, PwC, Give It Away, Your Feed and Aphrodite Angels. We thank you all so much. And thank you once again to these very special everyday UK youth supporters and friends. Your critical support is what has enabled us to reach young people and deliver quality, much needed content to youth organizations right across our networks. And so just as I finish, I wanna leave you with a question, something to maybe think about as you go through this evening. What will your commitment to inspiring hope be? How can we proactively lift one another up? How can we inspire hope in other people, in ourselves and in our young people? Because as the amazing 22 year old poet Angela Gorman recently said, when day comes, we step out of the shade, aflame and unafraid. The new dawn blooms as we free it. For there is always light. If only we are brave enough to see it, if only we are brave enough to be it. Thank you. Now let's settle back for an amazing evening. Have fun.
I'm very pleased to welcome you to the inaugural UK Youth Inspiring Hope Awards Ceremony. The aims of the awards are to support UK youth and to celebrate the wonderful achievements of so many inspiring young people and youth organisations. I offer my congratulations to all the nominees and award winners for their achievements. All our inspiring finalists demonstrate the breadth, variety and innovation across the UK youth network and the transformative stories it creates. It is heartening to hear from the inspiring young people that make up UK youth's national network of more than 8,000 local youth organisations, reaching over 4.1 million young people. I commend the resilience, motivation and passion of these young people and youth workers during such challenging times. I have been patron of UK youth since 2003. In that time, the issues that young people face have become increasingly complex. Developments that have made living more convenient have also isolated many people. Digital exclusion and loneliness have all been compounded by the coronavirus pandemic. UK youth exists to ensure all young people are equipped to thrive and empowered to contribute at every stage of their lives. UK youth's approach to working with young people enables us to be agile and equip young people with the tools they need to deal with the barriers they face. Thank you to all our supporters and partners for everything you do, your passion, expertise, time and funding. For those of you who may be new to UK Youth, welcome. We're delighted for you to join the UK Youth Network. I'm pleased so many people are joining us this evening. Young people, youth workers, local youth organisations, corporate partners, individual supporters and volunteers. You all play an integral role helping UK youth achieve the vital outcomes for young people. Finally, to our award nominees and winners. Thank you for inspiring your peers, supporting your communities and providing hope for all of us. I wish you every success and may you continue to flourish and fulfil your potential. Thank you so much, Ndidi, and your Royal Highness as well. And thank you to you guys getting involved in the chat and letting us know where you're watching in from. We've gone global tonight, you know. We've got watchers in New Zealand. We've got someone in South Africa as well. Hi to Will. Shouts goes out to Zahid and Amanda and Pauline. So many of you getting involved. Make sure you follow us on the socials and use the hashtag tonight as well. So as you know, UK youth plays a unique role in addressing the lack of investment in the youth sector, the lack of cross-sector understanding of how youth work makes a difference and the limited opportunities to embed effective solutions. All of these factors lead to mass inequality of access to youth services for young people. Working through networks of youth organisations and supporters, UK youth galvanise a movement of people to support their shared vision. The UK youth movement is open to all and currently stands at over 7,000 youth organisations and national partners, collectively reaching 4.1 million young people. That's a pretty big number. The UK youth mission is to work as a nationwide movement to deliver innovative youth services, grow effective practice and campaign to increase support for youth work. To tell us a little bit more about youth work and why it's so important, I'll hand over to Jonas and Louis. Back then, people used to tell me, oh, what's your talent, Jonas? And I used to be like, I'm not sure. And they'd be like, exactly. I was a kid that just wanted an opportunity to show that I know I can be successful. I believe in myself. I was 14 when my mum came and told me, we're going to send you to the 100 Black Men of London. And when I was walking there, I was just thinking, I'm just coming here for one taster session and then I'm off. I said, OK, I'll go back another week. OK, I'll do another week. 
for me as a youth worker. I think what was interesting was we were able to see that there was a Jonas who was like, I'm going to give it a go. Having a space where there are young people that I can talk to, are trustworthy, are friendly, really, really helped me. He's not so impacted by challenging environments as he once was because he's now so fixated on the fact that I'm going in the right direction. I was always optimistic, always wanted to learn, but it's gone to a whole nother level now. I'm on the right track. Youth work is really about how do we encourage, support, and then facilitate young people to be able to understand themselves, then understand how they go about operating within our society to then get to a point where they feel they can actually influence the direction that our society goes in. It's for the young people to be the leaders of now. So if we're not embedding that confidence within them, are we gonna, are we gonna lose that on a generation? We can't, we don't have time for that. The future is now. Youth workers are here to help young people to see a world of possibilities, but we can't do it alone. Please help UK youth to support youth work. Donate today. Yeah, man, so what was you talking about, bro? They're just so cool with it. Do you know what I mean? Love that one from them. So powerful as well. The message definitely is to encourage. And as Louis says, youth work allows for a world of possibilities. Possibilities and hope that you will be hearing from our finalists tonight wouldn't have happened without youth work and the support that UK youth provides to the network of youth organizations across the country. This support wouldn't be possible without you, our supporters. So if you would like to support UK youth work, there are a number of ways to do this. You can donate via the donate button on your screens right now. We have a prize draw for anyone over 18 with a range of incredible prizes up for grabs for just five pounds a ticket. Take a look by clicking the prize draw button and prizes include an overnight stay at the Four Seasons. That one is definitely on my list. Yoga memberships, restaurant cooking kits and loads more. Our silent auction has some incredible prizes, including private cocktail lessons, exclusive holidays, which I think we all need a little bit of. A holiday is definitely on the list as well. Some prices, memorabilia, and many, many more. Simply click on the silent auction and prize draw button to browse through the incredible prizes and place your bids. Just 50 pounds could enable a youth worker to teach basic digital skills to young people who are digitally excluded. Together, we can make sure that young people are equipped to thrive. So right, let's get going with the awards. UK Youth received a huge response and it was a really difficult task for the judging panel to choose the finalists. As you will hear, all of the finalists are extraordinary and will receive finalist certificates. Up first, we have the Inspiring Young Creative Award. Good evening. Your Feed is a video community platform focused on building better online communities. We are really proud to support the UK Youth's Inspiring Young Creative Award to help encourage and, um, and support young people being really active uh, and doing great work within the digital space. So the nominees are... Daniela Maria Webb, an inspiring role model for young people with dwarfism. Daniela has a passion for helping others and reaching out to bring creativity and the joy of dance to young people through social media. She created a TikTok channel during the pandemic to increase connection and expression for young people. In day to day life. Um, so I have my blog called Life Me a Little, which is um, a blog of its own and also an Instagram platform. And that kind of it links a lot to my work because my work is a lot of what I do um, and obviously being I'm always learning on social media so obviously that helps me with my own platforms um, but yeah that kind of documents my journey of my working life but also this is how it this is how it is to, to be 22 years old growing up in society when you have a disability. Isabella Evans creates short videos teaching others how to learn Makaton Sign Language. She was inspired after learning Makaton Sign Language to communicate with her brother. 
She now has over 200,000 followers learning through her social media content and video tutorials. I'm 15 years old and about two, three years ago, I started a Facebook page called Isabella Signs um, because I was signing with one of my mum's friends, little boy who happened to have Down syndrome. And we were signing to Rockabye, I think it was, by Clean Bandit. And he was signing along, so my mum filmed it. And then she just put it on her Facebook just to share with like her friends and things. And they were like, please put this on public, we'd love to share it. And that video, I think, at the time had about 30,000 views, which back then for me was insane. So my mum, me and my mum kind of come up with the idea to start like a Facebook page where I do like daily signs and I do like um, songs in sign language. Lauren Laver, once a starving student, an Instagram account showing young people how to make healthy and sustainable meals on a budget for over 18,000 followers. Lauren has collaborated with organisations such as UN and Stop Hate UK to raise awareness of healthy eating and reducing waste. It's a place for young people to firstly find tips and advice just about food and recipes, but also to be able to interact with other people and to hear from a young person about um, how they engage in their own way with you know the issues that they care about. Paige McKenzie, host of This Is Us podcast, giving students a place to discuss thoughts, ideas and find acceptance reducing isolation among students, including those without family support. She has worked with the Unite Foundation as well as hosting local radio shows, giving young people a space to open up about less talked subjects. I host a podcast called This Is Us and it's a podcast for care leavers and strange young people who are going to university or are at university or have just left university and it's basically just a platform to talk to these people about their experiences, how they got to uni, what they're doing whilst they're there, what their plans afterwards and how it's been not having that standard at the typical family support. So you go to university and when you get there, you see people going with the parents or they go home at summer or they go home at Christmas and they've got that standard support. But these people I talk to on the podcast don't have that support. So it's just like talking to them about the support that they do get at uni. Haroon. Haroon was excluded from school and left education without many qualifications. Through working with Leap Confronting Conflict, he has turned his life around. At the age of 17, he co-founded Future Talent Management. Future Talent Management manages and supports emerging young artists. Using his passion and confidence, he has secured investment for Future Talent Management and continues to grow his business and supporters with other young creatives. True, I'm 17, in West London. Uh, yeah, so I've got a business called Future Talent Management, a management company. Uh, manage artists, models, actors and actresses and literally represent them, which I get them as many opportunities as possible, literally. Percival Tosumba runs a YouTube channel sharing bite-sized tech skills workshops with young people in Angola. Percival is passionate about helping others. He voluntarily creates videos on staying safe on the internet for young people in refugee camps throughout Africa, digital skills for young asylum seekers. I have a young lead as well, uh, a group of young refugees that are working together to create a better future for young refugees in the UK and around the world. And, um, and my project came through the Hummingbird project, Hummingbird Young Leaders, mm -hmm. uh, after I had, my, uh, I had a workshop on how to film and record with your smartphone. And um, I always had the, the, the idea of making something on YouTube, but I didn't know exactly what to do. And once I had the skill, which was to uh, to record with my smartphone, then I was like, oh, yes. Um, and realizing as well that Angola has a bad uh, educational system. And then I was like, yes, let, let me do something. Uh, at least I can contribute or uh, giving back to the community. incredible stories and so the winner of the inspiring young creative award 2021 is isabella evans isabella evans
Award. Congratulations, sis. I am in like complete shock. I never expected to win. Thank you so much. No, your your story is so incredible. And the conversation around accessibility and how you engage people, 200,000 followers. That's a quite a big number. How I mean, how does that make you feel? Every morning I wake up and I can't believe it. I'm like I'm so lucky to have all my supporters. They're amazing. How many times do you listen to Rockabye now though? Uh, all the time. All the time yeah. <laughs> amazing, Isabella. Congratulations again. Congratulations for all the hard work. Keep it up, sis. You're amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Congratulations again to Isabella Evans. What an amazing, amazing story. And well done to all the nominees as well. Handing over next to Holly to introduce the Inspiring Inclusivity Award. Good evening, I'm Holly Furman and Coca-Cola European Partners are delighted to be supporting the Inspiring Inclusivity Award. Congratulations to all the finalists and thank you for your incredible work to champion diversity, challenge adversity and tackle racism. The nominees are... Lauren Knowles. Lauren created Talk About the Tough Stuff, a project supporting young people to have safe discussions about, around race and identity. Talk About the Tough Stuff highlights diversity and inclusivity in rural areas and the challenges faced by young people and delivered workshops in youth organisations across Oxfordshire. Volunteer Police Cadets LGBTQ Network. This network was formed during the second lockdown to help and support young people who may not be out as LGBTQ and are feeling lonely and stuck at home. The group support transgender youth and educate everybody on how to support and champion LGBTQ young people. Me Too Club. The Me Too Club provide inclusive leisure and play activities for young people with disabilities and additional needs, tackling exclusion and isolation that these young people face. Throwaway days, residential weekends, and day-to-day -day support Me Too Club help them build confidence and positive relationships. ProTouch. ProTouch work to make exclusive supports accessible to all young people, regardless of their background or circumstance, including those with special education needs and disabilities. They tailor programs for the needs of different faith groups, nationalities, and genders, and are promoting BAME participation in sports such as tennis and fencing. The National Youth Orchestra of Great Britain's Mighty River. This project was imagined and created entirely by young people. Inspired by the Black Lives Matter movement, Mighty River explored and celebrated music by black composers and provides space for thought-provoking conversations. Through the Mighty River project, the National Youth Orchestra have increased diversity and participation from BAME and female young people in classical music. an incredible category and so the winner of the inspiring inclusivity award 2021 is drum roll ladies and gents national youth orchestra of great britain mighty river project orchestra congratulations how do you feel Thank you so much. It feels amazing to know that we're really making a difference. And thank you to everyone at UK Youth because you've really created a platform for all of our organisations, not only the winners, but also the nominees. You've created that platform so that we can all shine. What I love about you guys is that you're so youth-led. You created it yourselves, right? Inspired by the Black Lives Matter movement, then to come together. I mean, what does it mean for you guys to win collectively? It means such a great deal because the organization, the NYO, we managed to break any stigma of only adults being able to lead any kind of workshop or um, community-led project. And it showed that anyone can be an ambassador regardless of age. That's amazing. So how are you guys gonna celebrate another Zoom call until real life events, right? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> of, course, of course, everything's limited to Zoom right now, but <laughs> this is only the first step that we've managed to take. And so it really just gets better and better from there. Yeah. Your influence is inspiring, sis. Thank you so much to you guys. Thank you so much, National Youth Orchestra. Congratulations. Oh, amazing. Amazing, amazing. Thank you so much. Um, so I'm going to move over now, and I'm very delighted to very um, to announce Alexandra from Soapbox. I'm excited about this part of the show, because Soapbox is a youth centre based in Islington, London, where young people can try new things, create, and make and showcase their talents. Tonight, Alexandra has created a special performance for Just Us with editing by 19-year-old Sam Griffiths. Hi, I'm Alexandra and this song is called Selfless. I'm getting tired of being selfless. It's hard to keep strong when I'm completely falling apart. Putting myself in front of fast trains so the people that I love don't get swept up in the tracks. I've had the bad luck. screen but I am like fist pumping all the way we need to get that on again in live version for sure Alexandra that was brilliant thank you so much sis it's been so inspiring right to see how amazing these winners are announced so far and also to hear such incredibly talented young people UK youth work to ensure that the amazing young people you are seeing this evening are equipped to thrive and feel empowered to contribute at every stage of their lives Please remember that you can donate to UK Youth this evening or support by taking part in our silent auction or prize draw. Just £10 could provide a youth worker with training and resources to help tackle inequality and encourage safer communities. So far this evening, we have already raised 
21,850 pounds. I don't know if it's Alexandra's music, the high notes, all the money that's been raised so far, but I am absolutely buzzing about tonight. 21,000 pounds, 850 pounds. That is huge, huge. So thank you so much and keep on donating. Up next is the Inspiring Leadership Award. Good evening. 10th British Consulting are proud to sponsor the Inspiring Leadership Award. Leadership can be effective in many ways, and 10th Bridge is delighted to share in the celebration of leaders who align with our values, have inspired those around them, and contributed to improving outcomes for their friends, families, colleagues, and communities. The nominees are Daniel Sakuli. Daniel has been active in the fight against knife crime and works to divert young people away from antisocial behaviour. Providing them with ways to build positive relationships, Daniel set up a new youth centre in Bolton and provides digital learning for young people who are struggling. Daniel has been key in building relationships with the young black community in Bolton and setting up meetings with the police to talk about hate crime and tackle the challenge. Alex Gerpener. Alex Gerpener works as a youth worker, delivering detached youth work in the community. Alex supports young people on a range of issues, including reducing serious violence. She also works with the local police and community groups to support young people through turbulent experiences. Alex has also been described as an outstanding youth worker who is determined and dedicated to the young people that she supports. Beth French. Beth French founded Let's Talk About Loss in 2018 after losing her mother. The group supports young people through their grief and provides support in groups and an online community. Beth leads the group in creating Bereavement Book Club, Creative Writing Group, Men Talk About Loss campaign and an award-winning project for young people, Transitions to Adult Bereavement Services. Dwayne Johnson. Dwayne is an experienced and trusted mentor who provides one-to-one -one support to young people. He uses his background and experience facing barriers to act as a positive role model and works with police and schools to support young people at risk. He is also a trained sports therapist and with this, Dwayne engages young people through sport, encouraging positive decisions and thinking patterns. Mustafa Hussein. Mustafa works for diverse FM community media and training engaging and working with young people mainly from disadvantaged backgrounds. When usual services were forced to close down due to the pandemic, Mustafa took it upon himself to ensure young people still receive the support they need. He provided telephone and online support, delivered food parcels and PP to supporting families countless amounts a week. Mustafa has raised over £95,000 in grants and donations to allow him to continue his support to his community. Alex Walters. Alex uses his own experience of gang culture and time in the criminal justice system to inspire young people and provide preventative support. Described as a truly authentic role model who is unique in his ability to change lives, Alex helps local police, social service and youth offending services as well as mentoring and providing one-to-one -one support. of the Inspiring Leadership Award 2021 is Alice Governor from Space Youth Services. Congratulations, Alice. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. I don't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> No, congratulations. We are so inspired by your story, by all the work that you're doing. What would you like to say to your colleagues and young people at Space? Just really honoured to work with such fantastic young people and colleagues. Um, just, I don't know, I'm in shock now, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, that's really, really amazing. The, the story that we've just heard you do, I mean, it's amazing, right, to inspire and encourage young people. And so how are you not going to celebrate? I'm sure that there's something in the works. Um, probably some Zoom drinks at some point. Um, <laughs> and just look, well that's all we can do at the moment so that'll be fun um and i'm sure we'll celebrate uh when we get out of lockdown as well and lastly what does this award mean to you it must be a real encouragement to go to go forward yeah um i just feel i just i think i'm in shock <laughs> um 
I just feel privileged to be given the award um, and it's just down to the young people and my organization supporting me to develop as a worker and the opportunities I've been given. Um, yeah. I just love the work I do, so. Oh, amazing, amazing. Thank you so much, Alex. Congratulations again. We'll catch up very, very soon. Amazing. Thanks. That's a hard list as well. Um, you're locked in for such an incredible evening. We're hearing so many inspiring stories. And up next, I'm handing over for someone to introduce the Inspiring Pioneer Award. Hello and good evening, everyone. Amy and proud to be supporting the Inspiring Pioneer Award. This award is designed to recognise innovation for being brave and trying something new, maybe even something that has never been done before. We're here to celebrate a person or a group or a project that's harnessed new approaches, new technologies and collaborated positively to impact young people. We're excited to see how your pioneering work has helped tackle loneliness or encouraged sustainability or promoted positive health and well-being for young people. The nominees are Jack Parsons. Jack Parsons is a young entrepreneur and public speaker. He launched the youth group, a platform that matches young people with opportunities that matter to them. Over 1.8 million young people are part of the community and he's on a mission to improve the odds of for over 50 million young people around the Commonwealth. Jack is a global ambassador for mental health awareness in the workplace and education. Milk Honey Bees. Milk Honey Bees is an innovative project that teaches young black girls to embrace the principles of her, healing, empowerment, and resilience that stands for. Through personal one-to-one -one sessions, creative workshops, and group projects. The Way of Youth Zones Mentoring Program. The Way of Youth Zones Mentoring Program provides personalized mentorship to all young people. Using technology, the Way Youth Zone reached isolated and disengage young people as well as tailoring sessions for disabilities and neurodivision. They support young careers and young people at risk of exclusion or gang crime, working with schools and always putting young people first. Friend for Life. Friend for Life creates lifelong intergenerational friendships to support young people and children who are looked after by the local authority. They strive to give this usually disengaged group reliable and trustworthy adulthood in their life. Tokebox Online. Tokebox Online was designed in response to the emerging needs of young people in 2020. They deliver skills and employment sessions to young people and empower young women, autistic young people, and young people with special education needs and disability. In 2020, the young people of Soapbox Online created a virtual youth center with first ever AI youth worker connecting young people to support. Another incredible category tonight. So the winner of the Inspiring Pioneer Award 2021 is, drum roll, <laughs> Head Start Blackpool's Friend for Life. Congratulations. volunteering lead from Friend for Life. Congratulations, Craig. How'd you feel? Um, <laughs> I'm just so <laughs> proud of everyone at um, Head Start and Friend for Life. And honestly, it's just incredible. The work that you're doing is incredible. I mean, what does this mean? And how does the project really impact its participants? Um, so I was the first Friend for Life match, I guess you could say. And wow. for me, I've gone through like some pretty like tough situations over the past three years. And having a friend for life has just made my life extremely happy. Uh, well, happier, I guess you'd say. And um, just, it's absolutely phenomenal. And everyone there, Claire, Camilla, all them, they deserve this award for, and it's just incredible. Yeah. Do you know what? I just want to take the moment to say, wow, look at that. The first person, and now you're accepting the award. It's really come full circle, hasn't it? And so what does a night like this mean to celebrate youth workers, youth organisations? Why is tonight so important for you? Oh, <laughs> um, tonight is so important. Um, so 
Friend for Life um, is based in Blackpool, which doesn't have the best opinions from people. So I know um, a group like Friend for Life to like um, to like show that my hometown isn't all bad and isn't what people say it is. It right. just means so much for me, uh, like to break the stereotypes of where I live. Yeah. Oh, Craig, you are a gem. Thank you so much for tonight. Thank you so much for joining us. And congratulations again. We'll chat soon. Thank you. Take care. Wow, I'm pumped. I'm pumped and I'm doing this from home. So I hope you guys are watching in are just as excited about hearing these stories we're, we're hearing tonight as well. Um, and so time now for some music. We are absolutely delighted to welcome hip hop talent collective G-Town Talents. G-Town are a group of young rappers who have come together virtually to share a message of hope with us this evening. Based in Kent, G-Town has established to give young people a voice and keep them off the streets. G-Town, it's all over to you. It's not your fault that the system is broke, but you're the youth, yeah. I need inspiration and hope, you're always the truth, yeah. Look at Fiji for proof. It's Fiji. He's the kid in the booth, yeah. I see a lot of kids that think they're not enough, cause they done hit rock bottom, and the times is rough. And now that's in a lot of kids that trying to be like someone else, cause they think it isn't cool to stand out and be themselves. And I send a lot of kids that be thinking like this, who really need to realise that they is fine the way they Know that you was perfect, no matter what they say, and if you ever feeling down, just know it's gonna be okay. It's not your fault that the system is broke, but you're the youth, yeah. I need inspiration and hope, yo, it's the truth, yeah. Look at Fiji for proof. He's the kid in the booth, yeah. You've got dreams, you've got imagination. You can be the future leaders of the nation. All you really need is a little hope, a little patience, and you're finally on your way to a better destination. Just gotta dedicate a piece of your time, and I'm sure you will find these crazy things in your life. If it doesn't matter if you flop, it matters that you try. Wear those tears, it's time to start the climb. See these things, we'll always get better. Rain or snow, you can shine in any weather. Keep your chin high, gotta keep it together. Reach for your dreams and never say never. It's not your fault that the system is broke, but you're the youth, yeah. I need inspiration and hope, yo, it's the truth, yeah. Look at Fiji for proof. He's the kid in the booth, yeah. You've got dreams, you've got imagination. You could be the future leaders of the nation. All you really need is a little hope, a little patience, and you're finally on your way to a better destination. Who they call the lost generation? Are you still so underrated? Voice for change in every statement, praying it's okay, these teams can change it. Benefit this great island of this next wave, waiting to walk its pavements, even while they struggle with payments. Still implementing actions for the greatest of changes. These uphill battles. Only strength and status You'll never lack for inspiration If you're inspired by the greatness Be a part of the solution Not that problem that breaks us We're tired of losing This the time that we make it It's not your fault That the system is broke But you're the youth, yeah I need inspiration and hope You're always the truth, yeah Look at Fiji for proof He's the kid in the booth, yeah You've got dreams You've got imagination You can be the future leaders of the nation All you really need is a little hope A little patience and you're finally on your way To a better destination Man, thank you so much. Fidget Rhymes, Just Jay, EK, and everyone at G Town, man. Thank you so much for that brilliant song, just so full of hope for a night like this. So, before we present the fifth award of the evening, we have a message from our headline sponsors, without whom this evening wouldn't have been possible. So, a huge thank you for your continued support, UPS.
At UPS, we are incredibly proud to support UK youth in their mission to ensure that all young people are equipped to thrive and empowered to contribute at every stage of their lives. Over the past 10 years, our partnership with UK youth has gone from strength to strength. Since we first started working together, over 6,500 young people have benefited from our joint UPS Road Code program, strengthening road hazard awareness with young people and helping to keep them safe in and around cars. Safety is the foundation of the program, but it offers so much more. It helps build the confidence of participants, empowering them to speak up when they are confronted with a potentially risky situation, keeping themselves and those around them safe. The confidence to voice their opinion and share their insights is a crucial skill that will serve them well in the future. But what will that future look like? I don't need to remind anyone that the past year has been extremely challenging for everyone. The pandemic has been and continues to be incredibly disruptive for all of us and the long-term consequences are hard to predict. Today's young people are so important. They represent the future. They are future employees, future customers, future leaders who will shape the world for generations to come. Young people represent hope. And that is why it's so important for us at UPS to support UK youth and why we are incredibly proud to sponsor the Inspiring Hope Awards. Congratulations to all of the nominees, finalists and winners this evening. I'm honoured that UPS has been able to play a role in helping to celebrate and recognise you all. Society Angels has been a proud supporter of UK youth for many years. Inspiring Supporter Award aims to celebrate an individual, group or organisation's outstanding achievement in using their time to further the mission of UK youth or to have used their platform to raise money for UK youth. The nominees are... Holly Furman. Holly is from Coca-Cola European Partners and is an exceptional supporter of UK youth. Doing everything she can to maximise the partnership with UK youth to provide opportunities to young people and ensure the Reach Up programme is a success. Holly even took the 2.6 challenge earlier this year, raising money for UK youth. Charlotte Groban. Charlotte is a long-standing supporter of UK youth, as well as giving her time through her philanthropy initiative, Give It Away, Charlotte builds and renovates homes, donating the profits to charities, including UK youth. Claire and the Barclays Star fundraising team. They took on a number of challenges in October, raising £1,800 for UK youth in response to her colleague Nicola's son, non-fatal stabbing earlier in the year. Claire and Nicola passionately believe that young people urgently need support to be equipped to fulfil their potential and know that they have choices. Mark Nicholas. Mark has supported UK youth for a number of years and this year he increased his support and proactively looked for different ways to help. Mark and his team secured, refurbished and delivered more than 100 devices for local youth organisations in the UK youth network, ensuring that young people could stay connected to their youth organisations and schools. Mary's Youth Club. Mary's Youth Club have worked collaboratively with UK Youth, being generous with their time and insights. Mary's Youth Club hosted UK Youth staff members for shadowing a massive field work placement and have worked collaboratively to deliver the National Youth Film Festival. And the winner of the Inspiring Supporter Award 2021 is... Mark Nicholas, congratulations, Mark. I'm jealous of your background, Mark. I mean, come on. 
<laughs> yeah, it's, uh, this is the recording studio I'd really like. It's uh, it's not a real background. I do have some instruments in front of me, but uh, it's not quite as impressive as that background. But I was quite impressed by the uh, the music that was playing before this section. I have to say that was a great, great uh, tune. It really was. Well, congratulations. Congratulations, Mark. What does this award mean to you? Uh, I'm blown away. I have to say the, um, the, the the competition I was up against seemed pretty pretty impressive to me. So, um, yeah, I think uh, look, I, I'm delighted that we've been able to make a difference. And um, I have to say thank you to Hamilton Rentals and Bell Integration for supporting me getting these devices out to people that I know really need it. Yeah. And just that story there, and just to, again, echo just the amazing work you've done connecting young people with their youth organisations. So how important is connectivity to you, especially in a global pandemic, in a lockdown? This has probably been never more important than now, right? Yeah, I've worked in the IT industry for um, decades, not years. And um, at the moment, it's so important um, that people have got the ability to, to, to be connected digitally. But with the pandemic on as well, it's just maximised that um, you know, and there's some, you know, there's some real, uh, real sad stories about people just not being able to get on in life without being able to be digitally connected, and uh, you know, and it's just becoming even more important at the moment to enable just that. Yeah. Uh, we at UK Youth want to say thank you for the many years that you've supported us. And what would you say to other people who are thinking of supporting UK Youth? Um, it's an incredibly important charity, and um, I'd certainly encourage everybody to to do what you can, whether that be financially or actually with other me methods. And I think this is a great example that sometimes it's not just about money; it's about finding other ways of helping and supporting young people um, with whatever you can. Yeah, Mark. Again, massive congratulations, keeping us connected in these very strange times as well. We want to say a massive thank you and congratulations again. Thanks, Mark. Thank you. We'll see you soon. My gosh, the finalists, the nominees, the winners, it's all very incredible tonight. And what incredible supporters UK youth have. I would like to thank the supporters watching this evening who have given their time, their effort, their expertise and generous donations. If you would like to support, then hit the donate button now or take part in the silent auction or raffle. We understand you want to stay right here with us for the awards, but if you do fancy a cheeky little bop and a little bit of a dance, the DJ room is where it's at and you've got Jenk Oz playing some serious tunes tonight. Up next, our penultimate award, Inspiring Youth Organisation. PwC are so proud to be supporting the Inspiring Youth Organisation Award. There were over 80 fantastic nominations in this category, with each nominee innovating and supporting young people and their communities in their own way. And the nominees are... Youth Moves. Youth Move works across South Bristol with young people aged 8 and 18. During lockdown, the Social Action Group continued their support for local dementia residents by making cards, letters and videos for them. Youth Moves adapted quickly to the first lockdown. By the end of the first week, they were running at least one Zoom group for 30 young people each day and 137 young people were getting weekly phone calls from staff. I had the tax sessions in various areas were happening and 30 young people were meeting staff for one-to-one -one support in parks. Live Life. Live Life is a Hertfordshire based youth led project that works with young people who have experienced homelessness. The project supports the members to gain confidence and new skills such as education, training, and work experience. Live Life acted during lockdown to quickly gain the support of local businesses to provide equipment to ensure the young people could still be involved in the project, volunteering their time and lobbying local government on issues affecting young people. Tag. Youth Club for Disabled Young People. TAG supports young people with disabilities to access fun, safe and social learning and physical activities from age 8 to 25 in South London. Disabled young people are already among the most socially isolated groups in the UK and the TAG families felt this increasingly, so during lockdown as a result, TAG's offering adapted. They focused on ways of improving social engagement, mental and physical well-being. During the first lockdown, having enjoyed activity bags and the letters from TAG, they voted to send free activity packs to over 100 children with disabilities in the area who were not members. Aches off together as one. 
Based in Slough, Aixaf works with young people from all backgrounds, breaking barriers between people and building bridges. Young volunteers committed their time and energies to the community throughout the pandemic in a range of ways, from filming themselves being tested for coronavirus to delivering 200 litres of water to residents in a block of flats who lost their water supply. Volunteer numbers have continued to rise in spite of many activities not being able to take place. We Belong is the UK's first migrant youth-led organisation campaigning for rights of young migrants and developing them into young leaders by providing information, support and training. Working with over 1,300 young people, We Belong organise and mobilise young people to create social change using their personal experience of the UK's immigration system to advocate for a positive narrative around migration and immigration. We Belong has profound impact on elevating the voices of young people to speak out and create a lasting change in their communities, policies and facilitates an open dialogue between young people and policy makers. And the winner of the Inspiring Youth Organization Award 2021 is We Belong. Congratulations, We Belong. That's amazing. Yay. Chris and Jared, you are the CEO of We Belong. Congratulations. I'm super delighted to receive this on behalf of the team. Um, we're so great that um, our impact has been shown and we're getting visibility for our work. Absolutely. What does this award mean, especially in a time like this? And also, can we touch on the fact that you're partnering up people and policymakers? That is incredible. What does that mean in 2021? It means a lot because a lot of the times young people are trying to get into spaces that aren't open to them. But we've managed to create a space for that dialogue to take place. So I think this is just testament of all the hard work, despite the pandemic and all our work being digital. It's been absolutely amazing. Yeah, if this is what you're doing in a pandemic, then when the world opens up, it's, it's going to be big, right? So what would you like to say as closing words to your people over at We Belong? I'd just like to say thank you so much. You all inspire us as staff every single day. And when you speak out loud about an issue, people listen. So continue to make noise. Yes, continue to make noise. Retweet this, please. Chris Ann, thank you so much for joining us. And a massive congratulations again. Thank you. <laughs> that is so huge. I am buzzing about people and policymakers. That is such a big change that we need to see. And now for our final award of the evening, the Inspiring Hope Young Person Award. Good evening. I'm delighted to be joining UK Youth at this event tonight. And I'm particularly pleased to be sponsoring the Inspiring Hope Young Person Award. Over the years, Give It Away's donations have been directed to young people with disability, educational needs for family support, mentoring and new career paths. To think that young people who themselves are being supported find the motivation to help others is in itself inspirational. When I read through the nominees for this category, I started to jot down the qualities which have led them to be nominated. But the two that stood out for me are resilience and positivity. And if you can show that when the going gets tough and inspired in others, you thoroughly deserve to be nominated for this award. Well done and best of luck. Cass Nathan. Cass Nathan has been described by others as a ray of light within the community. She's worked tirelessly to support and uplift residents of young persons hostels throughout the pandemic. Cass has played a key role in multiple projects that provide practical support to young people experiencing homelessness. On the top of this, she supports her community by volunteering with the Prisoners Education Trust and NHS Vaccination Programme. I think coming from a position where in society where you're sort of left um, behind, you sort of, um, no one really thinks about you. And um, I think, you know, that's a lot of, that's sort of the same situation for a lot of prisoners too. They, they think that, you know, society doesn't really care about them because they've done, uh, they've done something bad. And um, I think I just went in because I just wanted to help them, um, you know, 
I'm sure a lot of them will be coming out soon. It was a Young Offenders Institute, and um, a lot of a lot of them probably had this worry about, oh, what am I going to do when I come out? You know, how am I going to get a job? How am I going to hold down a stable accommodation? And um, I think I just wanted to, you know, just share my experience and be open about everything that I went through. Mariam Chaudhry. Mariam inspires and supports others by writing spoken word about her battles with mental health and domestic abuse. Despite experiencing homelessness and suffering from dyslexia, she completed her degree. At the same time, she has campaigned to destigmatise mental health and volunteered with local charities. It's just incredible because it's like, you do this on a nine to five, but it's actually not. You're making an impact that changes someone's life forever. And it's just incredible to see that you're doing that. And that's an initiative that you thought of and you kind of created and it's helping so many more people in the world. Sadia Islam. Sadia grew up experiencing racial discrimination and bullying behavior. With her youth group, New Routes, she has worked to prevent others from having the same experience or feeling lonely as a result of bullying. Sadia helps with homework clubs, family events, and provides support to resettle asylum-seeking children and young people. Just like in my instinct, I think, I've always enjoyed being involved in these things, and I think I've seen like my family engage with activities like this, and it gives me such a buzz, and it feels more, um, more meaningful, and... In terms of motivation, I would say making a change, making a difference. Georgina Gabriel Hooper. Georgina has taken strength from her traumatic experience and used it to support others. After witnessing her mother being fatally shot by an abuser, Georgina has shared her story with the media and in schools. She works tirelessly to raise awareness of domestic abuse and campaigns for a prevention action with the group Safe Lives. Um, you know, I'm fighting every day for, for children and to have ed particularly education in schools, uh, appropriate education in schools about, you know, domestic abuse. Craig McKenzie. Craig has been involved with the Head Start programme, providing profited support for young people at risk of exclusion. Craig had a difficult time at school and was at risk of exclusion himself. Rather than being defeated by this, he got back on track and used his experience to help and motivate others, changing the odds for others facing similar adversities. In my past, like I had a, I don't want to lie, I had a horrific past with family and drugs and alcohol and all that. Not me personally, okay. like not me, but them. So the life that I had was a lot harder than most people. So I want to use that, uh, that's my motivation to prove to, and help other people, to show them that your past isn't who you are and it's not who defines you. And the winner of the Inspiring Hope Young Person Award 2021 is... Kaz Yoga Nathan from Spear London Springboard Project. All right, Kaz, congrats. Oh, it's perfect for having you. Congratulations, Kaz, you um, I'm just feeling a whole range of emotions right now. I'm feeling very lucky and grateful and honoured, most of all. Um, and um, I really owe this one to everyone that's helped me. And um, especially shout out to Rosie and Joy from Springboard who are watching and my friends. Um, yeah, I'm just so lucky to have um, such an amazing support system that have given me so, so many opportunities to share my experience yeah. and just the opportunity to help help so many people. No, thank you. I mean, I'm inspired, so I can't even begin to imagine all of those people that you've met and, you know, just worked with along the way. And you've done a lot, sis. You've really been active, but I want to know, what is next for you? Um, so I'm, yeah, I've, um, because of all these people that have helped me, um, I'm really looking forward to the future, which I couldn't say about two years ago. Um, and I'm currently working on getting a career in the screen industries, which is a big dream of mine. And hopefully I can use that platform to highlight issues that I care about, like youth homelessness and mental health. Um, so I'm really looking forward to that and getting my own place and in independence and freedom. Um, yeah, so thank you for this honor. <laughs> No, thank you. <laughs> Massive congratulations again. Well done, Cass. So good thank to see you. you. So good, good.
Thank you so much. What an incredible young person we've got and so many amazing winners tonight as well. You guys are such an inspiration to all of us. And don't forget, there is still time to donate tonight. You can still take part in the silent auction and prize draw, which closes on Friday, the 12th of March. Know that your donations make a world of difference, not just to our young people, but to so many youth organizations as well. Now we have another special performance for you. Slough-based group Act Staff work with young people from all communities, faiths, and backgrounds to promote and encourage conflict resolution and community cohesion through training, campaigns, and projects. Amongst them are some talented young poets who are performing some spoken word for us this evening. Earlier we heard from Aditi, and now please welcome Rachel. Hello everyone, my name is Rachel and I'm a young spoken word artist and today I'm going to be performing one of my spoken words which is called Life. Thank you. Life happens, the unexpected, the uncalled for, the unwanted, the unknown, the unintentional. You see we've been damaged emotionally, damaged mentally, damaged physically and damaged spiritually. It may be your business, your heart that is broken, but no one thing, nothing that is broken doesn't mean it can't be fixed. Just like a caterpillar that transforms to a butterfly doesn't mean the hearts of stone hearts can't be full of warmth and joy. It may be your bank account numbers that are screaming, you are broke. You see, you break physically, mentally, emotionally, and all of those things need time and space to heal. You can break your heart, your spirit, and all of those things are going to leave a mark, either physically, spiritually, or emotionally. But the mark they are going to leave can be a mark of victory, grace, inspiration, bravery, likewise courage, or it can be a mark of defeat. You see, it's a stain with the breaking that produces blessings, joy and everlasting freedom. It is not what you're going through or what you've been through that determines where you end up. It's who you listen to because right now I think you are literally walking through a valley, dark or bright, stuck between two voices. One of the voices is wisdom and the other is worry. One is gratitude and the other is grumbling. One is self-pity and the other is faith. Because every time you break and every way you break, while it's a chance, it can also be viewed as a burning flame of lies and deception or it can either be you giving up letting your life slip away or you can either pick up the fragments and build a firm firm foundation for yourself full of stability and grace in every way of life there's an opportunity available to get stronger get smarter get faster get tougher but most importantly get better no one said the road to opportunities would be safe or smooth. So just remember this, there is no smoke without fire. Thank you. I am honoured to be here this evening in my role as chair of the trustee board of UK Youth. UK Youth has a most impressive history of over 100 years and is highly regarded as one of the leading charities focused on the needs of young people right across the UK. However, what is more impressive is the young people, youth organisations, youth workers and supporters who make up the overall UK youth family. My congratulations to all of the award winners, who I think we can all agree have been truly inspirational. I've been blown away by the individuals and groups we've heard from tonight and by the amazing young talent we have witnessed. I would like to offer thanks once again to UPS for supporting this event and making it possible. And also to Coca-Cola European Partners, Tent Bridge Consulting, Give It Away, UR Feed, PwC, Amy and Aphrodite Angels for your generous support of the awards. But most of all, I wanted to thank every single young person, youth worker, youth organisation and supporter who was nominated, who submitted a nomination or who joined us this evening. I thank you for doing your part to inspire hope in your peers, your colleagues and indeed in all of us. I wish you all every success and that you continue to thrive. Thank you.
Thank you, David. And my thanks also to all the incredible individuals and groups who have joined us this evening. And of course, the biggest, the most massive congratulations to all of the amazing, inspiring award winners. Thank you to Jonas who introduced our finalists this evening as well. And thank you to everyone that has donated. I'm so happy to let you know that together we have raised an outstanding £22,640 tonight. That is a huge figure. That's definitely going to go a long way. And if you wanted to know, there's still time to donate. You can take part in the silent auction and prize draw until they close on Friday the 12th of March. So make sure you get donating. The UK youth team will be in touch with the winners. And don't forget tonight, the DJ room is open until 8 30 p.m this evening and there we have it the inspiring hope awards 2021 i've been your host swazi and i've been so inspired so honored to have met so many brilliant young people leaders and supporters i hope you guys enjoyed it and we look forward to seeing you next year thank you so much good night <laughs>